What is going on, everybody? It is confused at what social clique he belongs to. Treep talks here with the backwards hat, the glasses, and the flannel. Am I a douchebag, a nerd, or a redneck? The world may never know. Now, before we get into what this video is going to be about, I want to thank all of you guys. We are currently at 891 subscribers. We are nine away from 900. My goal has been to get to 1,000 before the season starts, and we are getting oh so close, ladies and gentlemen. Please keep keep enjoying the content please if you're a little on the fence about subscribing please do that right now and click the bell icon as well so you get notified every single time i drop a new video now i made a video last year talking about five jaguars that will surprise you next season and maybe one of them did surprise you uh, i'd say dd westbrook a guy that i had on that list and ronnie harrison too uh you know both of those guys kind of did all right they did pretty good you know I think Dee was more kind of shocking because he led the Jags in receiving yards this year which I said would happen in that video but we're going to be doing that all over again for 2019 ladies and gentlemen here are five Jaguar players that will surprise you in 2019 one to go up top drops it off across the middle for that What is going on everybody? What is going on everybody? What is going on everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here for another episode of Treeb Talks. Number five, Keelan Cole. No one had a harder fall in 2018 than Keelan Cole. You can make the case for Blake Bortles, which I guess he technically made the biggest fall out of any Jaguar last year. But Keelan Cole was a close second. He went from leading the Jaguars in receiving yards in 2017 to being irrelevant in 2018. Of course, to start off the season, he was hot. He did pretty well. You know, he had that one-handed catch, the probably debatable catch of the year in 2018. But after that, he was slumped. He did not do a lot at all. And he led the Jaguars in drops in 2018. But from what I've seen as these OTA tapes, Keelan Cole looks like he's gotten a little bit bigger and a little bit better. It looks like he knows that he's kind of on this roster bubble and he might end up getting cut after having a really good 2017 and not having a good 2018. And I think he knows he has a lot to prove. And I think he's going to come in to the Jaguars regular season opener in 2019, ready to go on the roster, maybe third or fourth in the depth chart. But I think he's going to work his way back up to where he was in 2017 to reach his 2017 form in 2019. The guy does have hands. He has speed. His route running is a little shaky, but, you know, as long as he keeps on working with Keenan McCardell, I think his route running could just keep on getting better and better, and I think he's going to be a factor next season. I'm not going to say he's going to go over 1,000 yards, but for a guy that a lot of people think the Jaguars are going to cut in 2019, I think he'll surprise you, and it'll be a very good surprise that Keelan Cole will have a a really good 2019 campaign. Number four, Miles Jack. Miles Jack has never been a bad player. In fact, he's been a good player ever since he started playing for the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, he was an instant impact from the day he walked into the door. He's a playmaker, a turnover machine. He's not the best, you know, built linebacker in the league, especially at the middle linebacker position. But as far as sideline to sideline speed and playmaking ability, he's right up there with one of some of the best middle linebackers in the NFL. And this year, I think he's going to go back to the outside and we're going to have Jake Ryan kind of hold down the middle. And I think that's where Miles Jack needs to be. You know, he needs to be in more pass coverage situations where he has a chances to get turnovers and, you know, to be able to get a wider stance to chase guys down. Down from sideline to sideline and I think he's going to lead the job wars and tackles in 2019 especially with the absence of Telvin Smith you know Telvin Smith's absence is really raising Miles Jack's stock you know uh, for being a leader on the defense being a team captain as well I think he's gonna you know earn that and develop it during training camp you know during these OTAs he's gonna develop a leadership kind of role and he's gonna ball out and dominate it I'm saying right now Miles Jack's an over 100 tackle guy that's what Miles Jack is in 2019. He's a reliable linebacker that Telvin Smith is year in and year out. And due to unfortunate circumstances, he won't be around. But I think Miles Jack can fill those shoes 
very, very well. And I don't know if the Jags will bring him back, you know, once the time comes. But this is a great audition tape for him to show other teams why he can be a leader and why he can dominate on the field. So if he's not going to be doing it for the Jaguars organization, he's definitely going to be doing it for himself so he can get a payday. So this guy is going to be dominant in 2019. Keep your eyes out for Miles Jack, number 44, was not down. Number three, Ronnie Harrison. Last year's number one player that will surprise you in 2018 comes in at number three. Now, I will admit putting him at number one last year was a little bit of a hot take, and he didn't necessarily do terrific things, but he also didn't get a lot of playing time. But this year, he is the undoubted sit, uh, starter at the strong safety position. He's going to hold it down. He's looking good in OTAs, and this is a guy that was born to start in the NFL. A safety from Bama, he's just dominant. He's been a part of dominant defenses now his whole career, playing with Alabama and now playing with this Jacksonville Jaguar secondary. With the secondary coaches and the other players he has around him, it's going to be impossible for a guy like Ronnie Harrison to not improve and to not be a top-notch safety in the NFL. And I'm hoping that that can rub off on Jared Wilson so Jared Wilson can also develop and be a tremendous safety because those two are the highest, biggest question marks in 2019 but I think one question is going to be answered, and it's going to be answered by Ronnie Harrison, and he's going to tell you he is the real deal Holy Field, and he's going to be getting it done on the field at the strong safety position, and don't say I didn't warn you. Ronnie Harrison will surprise you. He's going to be a hard-hitting safety, and he's going to do work for the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2019. Number two, Raquel Armstead. I was not a big fan of this pick when it happened in the draft, because I was such a Miles Gaskin homer. You know, I loved Miles Gaskin. I loved what he brought to the table. And I thought that he could fill kind of the TJ Yeldon, Corey Grant role phenomenally. But the more and more I dig into this Raquel Armstead kid, and the more and more I dig into his tape and how he plays, the Jags had something going on with this pick. He was the whole entire Temple offense. He was dominant year in and year out with Temple, and he was a bruiser of a running back. You know, he'd hit holes, he'd break tackles, and he also has breakaway speed as well. He has everything you need in a top-notch running back, and he's going to be the guy that comes in on third downs, and he's going to be the guy that comes in to relief of Leonard Fournette. He's going to be the number two running back on the depth chart heading into 2019, in my opinion, and I think he's going to dominate, and he's going to do a lot of work, especially if Leonard Fournette's, you know, injury history keeps on showing and you know it keeps on being a factor and Raquel Armstead's going to get those reps you know it was smart of him to draft a guy that has a lot of similarities to Leonard Fournette so if he goes down the Jags don't necessarily have to change their offense all that much they already got a bell cow back back there that can do all that Leonard Fournette can do and I'm very very excited to see what he has to offer and I think he's going to shock a lot of you guys in 2019 you're going to be like Raquel Armstead what a steal another late round steal by Dave Caldwell in the draft which I might add I know we are very hard on Dave Caldwell but this guy knows a thing or two about hitting in these later round picks and you know guys like Quincy Williams as well hopefully he ends up panning out but Raquel Armstead could be another list of late round picks for him to hit on to Dave Caldwell's resume and another reason why he probably won't get fired if the Jags have another bad season in 2019 because he can hit on these late round draft picks but I think Raquel Armstead is going to dominate in 2019, and he will surprise you next season. And number one, the guy that will surprise you the most in 2019, wide receiver Marquise Lee. Marquise Lee, of course, had that knee injury that kept him out all last season that he suffered. During the preseason, he didn't get to play a single snap in the regular season in 2018. And now that he's back, I think he's back with a vengeance. I think he would have been a difference maker in 2019 because he could have been that number one wide receiver for us. And then, you know, even lesser corners would end up on D.D. Westbrook. So D.D. Westbrook would have benefited from Marquise Lee being there. And I think all these wide receivers benefit from from Marquise Lee being there. I think this guy's a true baller. I think he's a true leader in the receiver room because he's definitely the most experienced guy that they have there. And I think a lot of people look up to him. And I think he's realizing that. And I think this is his year to go out and dominate and to finally, yes, I'm going to say it. This is going to be a hot take and be prepared for it. Marquise Lee is going to get over a thousand yards this season. And he's going to lead the Jaguars in receiving yards. There, I said it. It won't be D.D. Westbrook. It'll be Marquise Lee, the longest tenured Jaguar wide receiver. He is going to lead the Jags in receiving yards this year. And he is going to ball out. He's going to be that security blanket, the guy that Nick Foles can count on. I hope those two develop a chemistry because Marquise Lee is 
a guy that has always had potential to be a great wide receiver in the NFL. He just never had that great quarterback to throw him the ball. But now that he has Nick Foles throwing him the football, this might be a chance for Marquise Lee to finally break out and show you what he could do and show how dominant he can be. A dominance he has not possessed since his days in college. Marquise Lee, he will shock you in 2019 when he leads the Jaguars in receiving yards. And that was five Jaguar players that will surprise you in 2019. What you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Don't forget, you can check the links down below as well. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Also, if you want to get yourself some Troop Talks merch, you can go over to teespring.com forward slash store forward slash Troop Talks. Also, if you haven't yet, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified every single time I drop a new video. I drop new content on this channel six days a week. Ain't nobody out working me. Them's are just straight facts. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great day.